Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tyler from The Harrington's and we are back today with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to be covering what is on my desk. Yes, that's right. We are doing the desk tour 2019. Let's jump into it. Before we jump into the video, I just want to let you know that the first link in the description is going to take you to my kit page. Here you can find the link to every single product that I talk about in this desk tour video. So if you want to go buy one of them for yourselves, you can get the exact link right here. And I should also mention that if you buy any of this stuff using this link, I do get a small kickback from Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me out. So it would be greatly appreciated. All right, let's jump into the video. Kicking off with some headphones, we got the Sony MDR7506. These are some great studio monitoring headphones that I like to use for all my editing, stuff like that. For our audio interface, we're using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. This is a really nice audio interface that connects our XLR mics into our computer. Now with this, we're also using the Cloud Lifter. This is a mic activator that's actually gonna take the gain level from our mic, it's gonna boost it just a little bit to help make sure we have nice, clean sound coming out of our preamps. The mic we are using is the Shure SM7B. This is a classic mic. It sounds amazing. You see it all over podcasts and stuff. And you're actually listening to it right now. When it comes to monitors, we have a little bit of an untraditional approach that we're rocking here. So on the left, we have an Acer XFA240. On the right, we have an Asus ProArt monitor. Again, links in the description. So essentially, the reason for these two different monitors is the Acer is a 144 hertz monitor I use for gaming, but it's not very color accurate. The Asus is very color accurate, but it only goes to 60 hertz, so it's not great for gaming. So what I like to do is I like to use the Acer for any non-color related tasks. It's kind of my main monitor, it's right in front of me. And then all of my color correct and everything else is done and checked on the ASUS. And I use them kind of both all day long. And then they are both sitting on top of these glass risers I got from Amazon. And this just helps to make sure that they're at the right height for my neck and my posture. My webcam is a Logitech Brio. This is a 4K webcam, which is completely unnecessary. But I always say, if you're gonna go big, go big. Speaking of big, my primary mechanical keyboard is the Logitech G810 with the Romer G switches. This is a full keyboard with the number pad on the side, and this is my main keyboard that I use for everyday tasks. I also have a Logitech G Pro, which I use primarily for gaming, and it also has the Romer G switches. They are pretty much the exact same thing, but when I play games like Fortnite where I need a lot of mouse movement, I like to have the shorter keyboard for those types of games. My mouse of choice is the Logitech G Pro Wireless. This is a very expensive mouse, but it is one of the best wireless mice on the market, and I absolutely love it. Is it way too expensive? It sure is. Is it one of the best mice I've ever used in my entire life? You better believe it. To get all that insane mouse movement, I am rocking the G840 XL gaming mouse pad, which is 900 millimeters by 400 millimeters. And for my American friends counting at home, that's 35.43 inches by 15.75 inches. So as you can see, this thing is huge. It gives me lots of room to move around and to use a low DPI settings for my first person shooter games. To complete the Logitech G Suite, I also have the Logitech G Pro headphones. These are a pair of gaming headphones that I will use when I'm traveling with my laptop and also when I'm playing at home just to get a little bit different sound. They're more comfortable than the Sony's and good for long gaming sessions. All right, so there's all the fun stuff. Let's get back to the work stuff. Uh, we are walking a Drobo 5 Bay. This is where I store all of my archive footage. After I'm done working on it, it goes onto the Drobo. Mine is about 12 terabytes worth of storage in there. And this is great because that's built-in redundancy, which means that anything on here is super, super safe. We are also using the Lexar 4Bay card reader. I think they actually discontinued this, which is really sad, um, but this is one of the best ways for me when I'm dumping footage after a wedding to be able to dump four cards all at one time and it's super, super fast. Whenever I need to edit a project on the go, I'm gonna be using the Samsung portable SSD T5. These are really, really fast hard drives and they're super, super durable because they are SSDs. You don't have to worry about spinning disks or anything like that. So this is my favorite go-to drive for anything on the go. For active projects, I actually have a RAID system set up inside of my PC tower, which I know is what you wanna see, and don't worry, that's coming right after we check out this sick laptop. My laptop I use for on-the-go edits is a MSI Stealth. 
GS65. This puppy is rocking an Intel Core i7, six core processor, 32 gigs of RAM, a SteelSeries RGB keyboard, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 graphics card, and this thing can fly. Oh, and it has ports, lots of ports. All right, what you've all been waiting for, the PC Tower. This is actually an NZXT build. Essentially, I built this online. NZXT built it for me, sent it to me fully configured, and this is what we went with. We have an NZXT H700i case, the NZXT Kraken X62 water cooling unit, the MSI MPG7390 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard, the EVGA RTX 2080 Black Edition GPU, an Intel Core i9-9900K, the NZXT E850 Gold Digital PSU, Team T-Force Delta RGB 3000, 32 gigs of RAM there, the Intel 6600P 1TB SSD, and of course, the RGB lighting kit to top it all off. All right, there you guys have it. That was my desk tour 2019 slash 2020. I started filming this in 2019 and it took me until 2020 to finish it, but there it is. That's everything that's on top of my desk. Now, one of my goals for 2020 is to get the rest of the desk set up all figured out. As of right now, as you saw, all this is sitting on a plastic folding table from Costco. And that's not exactly how I want this to be going forward. So I have some goals for this year to get a new desk. Um, some of the problems I'm having with that is that this desk, the reason why I love using this folding table is because it's really big, it's very deep, and it's also very long. So it's actually perfect to have everything up elevated. I can have the tower up off the ground, off the carpet, and there's plenty of room for all of my different things. So I'm having a hard time finding a desk big enough for that. So anyway, that's one of my goals for this year is to get that straightened out, which will also allow me to do better cord management and all those types of things, which some of you are probably screaming at if you saw the back of this. It's very not very organized and managed, but that's okay. So that's one of my goals for this year is to get that all figured out. I also want to get some monitor stands, get these monitors up and off these glass risers, up onto some actual arms, to give me a little more flexibility, things like that. Um, a few things I want to improve on maybe this year is I do want to uh, look into getting an Elgato cam link so I can attach a real camera to this setup so I can either use the EOS R like this. I have a uh, Sony RX100, an old one of these kind of laying around that I could hook up, um, or even using the C100, something like that. So. Those are some of my goals for my setup for the year, but I'm really happy with the way that this whole thing has come together so far, switching to PC and all the gaming stuff that I've kind of been acquiring over the past year. Um, I'm really happy with this workstation. Um, I'm able to get a lot of work done, which is great, and it's also a lot of fun to play some cool video games and play them at high refresh rates and high speeds and all that type of stuff. So. That's the desk tour. I hope you find it helpful. Like I said, all of the links and everything are gonna be in the description down below. Like I said, if you wanna go buy any of that stuff and you wanna use my kit page link, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. You don't have to, but I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Ty from The Harrington's, and I'll see you in the next one.